Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Student Academy. Today our topic is off thrust or buoyant force. After watching this video, you will get clear concept about off thrust. Let's start. We know a body appears lighter when it is immersed in water. For example, while drawing a jug full of water from oil, we feel lighter when it is inside the water and it becomes heavier when we take out from the water. Why it happens so? Inside the water, jog experience the upward force of water. The net upward force exerted by a liquid on a body which is completely or partially immersed in it is called off thrust or buoyant force. Off thrust experienced by a body depends upon the volume of its immersed part and density of liquid. Larger the volume of immersed body, greater is off thrust. Similarly, off thrust is directly proportional to the density of liquid. So greater the density of liquid, greater will be the off thrust. Let's do some activity. Take a stone and tie it with a string and weight it with the spring balance. Record it as the weight of a stone in here. Here its weight is 35 Newton. Now immerse the stone completely in water and weight it again with spring balance. Here it shows 20 Newton. Record it as the weight of stone in water. You will find the weight of stone in water is less than that of in air by 15 Newton. This loss of what this loss of weight of a body when immersed in liquid is equal to the off thrust of that liquid. Again, take two beakers, one with fresh water and another with saturated salt solution. Put an egg in each beaker and absorb. An egg sinks in fresh water but it floats on salty water. This is because the density of salty water is greater than that of fresh water, which result greater of thrust in salty water. This much for today. Stay alert. I will come up with a new video with new interesting topics. So please like, comment and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.